Stranger things. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plika. I'm Jerome. And I'm Nick. And today we're talking about Stranger Things Season 3, Chapter 5, The Flayed. I think this was the first episode to me this season that I was like, eh, it was pretty okay. Oh, really? I, I enjoyed it. Like, I, I liked a couple scenes in it, but for the most part, overall, this episode, I was like, eh. Nothing, nothing like really happened. I thought until the and, end. until until well, the it was end. it was completely different than the last episode. Yeah, yeah, and it was, it was like more the opposite of the last. Yeah, episode. Yeah, and it was more of a detective. There, like, yeah, every, everyone, every group is like finding things out. Yeah, um, but yeah, I liked it a lot. You did, yeah. Uh, so yeah, they, there's a new demogorgon. So does that mean so? Those two dudes both got killed, which I didn't understand why hurting the... One guy hurt the other? Why the blonde guy hurt the old guy, because the old guy was a Demogorgon human thing first. <laughs> so I didn't understand why his hurt his, but like... I, I guess because it's just one Maybe one Maybe they'll explain later on yeah. the, the connection. Because cause it, no, it, it makes sense. You hurt Billy, you hurt him all because he was like the original. Yeah. That's just how I, like, how I thought things would work. So that that was weird. But then they... They don't really explode. They more melt and, yeah. and, and form into a giant red Demogorgon this time. Yeah, that thing was Which nasty. is our first like creature of the season. First creature, and it was a big, disgusting blob with yeah, teeth. Which is funny. I was wondering, because there's a whole chasing in the hospital. And I was like, I wonder if like part of the decision to do humans this year is so they don't have to CGI or get a rubber suit of like a Demogorgon chasing people for the whole half the season. Mm -hmm. And then literally this episode, they make a Demogorgon. That's funny. Um... Yeah, the hospital scene was pretty creepy. Those guys coming yeah, after him. Yeah, I like that. I like how they have like those black like veins going, and then like when they got stabbed, it was like blackish greenish, greenish like blood on them. Yeah, they um, I see. I like Jake Busey. Busey. So when he was chasing what about Nancy, Jake Busey. Yeah, him too. Um, when he was chasing her, it, remind, it reminded me of Frighteners, like how because uh, he was in you know, and he was the bad guy in that, and was just like creepy and like kind of happy and um. He's a good bad guy for... Yeah, he can definitely play a good asshole. Yeah. Maybe like you if playing Stranger Things asshole. You think so? You'd be perfect at it. What would you be good at? One of the scared little kids. Like a cat? I'd be, I'd be, a, I'd be Will like, oh, fuck, someone's here. <laughs> yeah. Are my <laughs> balls hanging out? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, no. The, people just think you're talking about your balls all of a sudden now. Maybe. <laughs> um. So what else happened? Oh, so, all the, so uh, Steve... Dustin and Robin and Erica mm -hmm. were down in that elevator. They ended up pissing on the boxes up top, which was kind of funny. Yeah. So they made it through. And so I'm a little confused. And I may sound stupid here, which I normally do. So does that tunnel, did they lie to us in the beginning saying it was Russia? Or did they move their entire Russian operation underneath Hawkins? I don't know. Because it looked like the exact same laboratory from the opening of the first episode, didn't Just it? Just because there's a... Flag does it really mean it's Russia? Well, it went outside and showed a flag. Oh, that's true. You're right. Maybe they moved the operations there. Because I don't it, know. So it, like, if they did, they built it the exact same way in there. Oh, it's just like the Hawkins lab, though, wasn't it? Kind of, except for the um, not the outside, but the interior. I didn't think so. Maybe, but I it didn't. I didn't think that at all watching it. I just remember in season two when the dogs were coming up. Like I remember that glass screen that they looked out towards. Who let the dogs out? Um. I don't remember the name of the band. Hmm. Um, but yeah, so they're down there. They find some. They found the the acid shit from last episode. Though Eric wants to drink it. Yeah, I don't suggest that. Maybe, maybe. Um, and they're trying to open the gate. Yeah, so they finally get open. They walk through the tunnel. They finally reach. Which I I like this. So they reach the comms room, and Steve actually no, wins Steve, a fight. Yeah, I figured he was gonna win because they brought up him uh, losing yeah, before. Yeah, and then Dustin's like, "You did it! You finally won a fight." Yeah, and then he was Robin like, goes and like looks up top, and I was like, "Oh, they're totally opening the upside down in there," because you can see the blue light look very similar from the beginning, right? And they all watch them, like as they're shooting and opening upside down, which I still think is different than Billy's stuff, it because because the, the mind flare was left in here. It does. I think that's going to be either set up for season four or make this even worse because like they're going to try to defeat. They're even if they beat Billy now. He's only part of the mind flare. The rest of him is still in the upside down. It so does. It does seem through. like it's two separate incidents. Yeah, like they're trying to get it open. Like they know about what Hawkins did, and now they're trying to recreate what they did. Yeah, in true Russian fashion, <laughs> or 
and then but then they don't know what is going on with the rest of the shit. So, but do you think if they do open it, the in, the entire mind flare can just come into our world now? Yeah, probably. Which that'd be pretty fucking scary, because that thing is giant. Yeah. So I wonder. I wonder what will happen with that. Well, it, isn't in the preview there something flying above them, like a pterodactyl or something? That's what I pictured in my head. Oh, there is something like that, like in the mall. Yeah, and they're I like kinda hiding. I kind of forgot about that. So I mean, some something worse is coming, unless yeah. that fucking blob thing just turns to grow wings. Yeah, good. I mean, it turned two people into a fucking monster. Why can't it fly? Yeah. Well, so I guess that's not our first one. I just thought about that because we we saw the legs of the one when it turned the parents. Oh, that's true. The we big spider-looking thing. Yeah, we haven't seen yeah. the full bit of that. Um, but see, the more we talk about it, the more like I I that, that usually happens. With, like I feel like I enjoy the episode, but watching it, I felt like it was a little. Well, little there dull. wasn't. I mean, the the last episode was all action, and it was yeah, start guess, from get go. And this I guess was, I just this expected this, it to continue. Yeah, this one was just slow of a slower build, yeah. kind of. Uh, we did get introduced to the Terminator in this episode. Yes, I thought I really see. I like that part too. Hopper and Joyce. Kidnap Smirnoff. I like I like that they called him Smirnoff. And they come into that guy's car in front of Seven Eleven. I liked when the Terminator was inside Seven Eleven. He was almost kind of like talking like the Terminator too. I know he yeah. was like just with a Russian accent, but it, like it seemed a little bit it, influenced it was, by it that. It was Terminator on, on point. Yeah. yeah, but I like. I wonder where that's gonna go. Like if, he, if I w- I wanted that guy to like leave that place and go, I'll be back <laughs> or didn't, something. I didn't, I didn't think about. that. I wanted him to say some catchphrase. That would have been hilarious. But I'm interested in where that's gonna go. Yeah, I feel like Hopper eventually is going to beat him up. That'd be cool. Because he's already got beat up by him twice. Yeah, yeah that's true. Hopefully well, he, he was chasing him down, like limping and shooting his machine gun. I was like, it's fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, it did seem like that. And then and we couldn't, we didn't even get a good look at him then, and then he turns into the Terminator. Yeah, Nancy, Jonathan are, are together with the kids. So, like, they're there in the hospital, So like, and Will knows now. Yeah, he stood up there towards but the, the other, end. But the other four are just being, like, boyfriend girlfriend Yeah, although they did look at him when he, like, stood up and looked at the lights flickering. They gave him a look, and then that's when the thing turned into the new de- Demogorgon. Yeah. So I would assume next episode will pick up, pick up around right there. Right there, yeah. And they're probably. all like, holy shit, a new Demogorgon. Yeah, they might want to get the fuck out of the hospital with all those dead bodies laying around. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect it to be, like, like, that guy to show up there. They got rid of the old lady, like, all that shit going on there. I figured, so when they, they go, the whole... The whole plan was to go there and have the old lady go to wherever she wanted to go. Yeah, I, t- I totally just expected that plan to work. Oh, see, I was thinking that it's that's too easy. That's not going to work. So what's going to happen? I figured, and then she was gone, but I didn't expect the fucking. See, I, th- I thought like maybe some shenanigans would happen along the way. You know what I did think of while they were fighting those two guys? What? Like their newspaper must suck because like, they're all their staff are at the hospital fighting each other. Like wh- who's who's printing next tomorrow's newspaper? It's true. You know, maybe that Demogorgon's gonna walk in and, go, and look with a little cigar in his mouth and go like, <laughs> I, go, I got another story. <laughs> wow, well, fake that, news. Yeah, but who, who knows? Who knows what he's gonna do? <laughs> um, but any, anything else you're gonna say about this episode? Uh, no. What? There's three left. Yeah, three left now. I thought there's three left before, but because I, I thought we were an episode ahead. Uh, yeah. So three left. Um, I'm kind of interested. You mentioned a twist. Yeah, I saw something. I didn't watch it because I don't want to know spoilers, but I yeah. saw something on YouTube about Joyce and Hopper reacting to the season three ending twist. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. But a lot of those videos are like, it's a twist. And it's like, oh, no, you just are calling it a twist, but it was an ending. Yeah, that so, happens a lot. So who knows? Um, maybe maybe who, if you see our vi- end video title that, then. I did, I did kind of think Jonathan was going to become one of those people. I kind of hope, and it may sound like a dick, because last week I was getting trying to decide which kid I could get rid of. But I hope something happens to someone this season because it'd be too convenient three instance, three like years, in, not a row, but close. And they get, get attacked by another dimension's beast and they all come out unscathed. Well, I did think while we were watching it, I thought to myself, you know, if this happened in another small town where the sheriff didn't believe everybody, the mom couldn't figure all this stuff out, and mm-hmm. the kids weren't the fucking... Kids from the Goonies Part Mm 2, and their older brother and sister couldn't figure stuff out and fight Demogordons and all this stuff, they'd be fucked. Yeah. But they all happen to live in that one town. It's a good good thing for that. Yeah, it's almost like this was created by, like, some writers that, like, made sure all that shit happens. Yeah, almost. But saying all that, it's still fantastic. Yeah. 
Um, but all right, so that's it for our video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below what you guys thought about this episode, and we'll see you guys next time.